So as a heads up, everyone, uh, it is it is nearly tax time. So uh, proceed to panic or purchase things impulsively uh, just for the sake of it. Really, it's about that time of year. I don't know. Who knows? Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BNA stream today on this fine twenty fourth of June, twenty twenty four. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week has been pretty alright. It's uh, It's been pretty chill. I've not been... Well, not chill. Well, kind of chill. I've been doing too much stuff recently. Also, I swear, my mic is like peaking way more than often, so... <laughs> I need to... I need to control how close I am to the mic, because I'm like, Oh, I speak so close! But it's like, no, no. Just sit back a bit. It's all good. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, yeah, things have been pretty good. Things have been pretty... Uh, nice and all right. I, uh, I I have worked out too much over the past week, and my legs are like really really sore right now. So clearly, we need to do some mental stimulus, and uh, I know just the thing that will help us mental stimulize. So let's dive right in to uh, what I can only explain as uh, where ooh, where to go, where to go. Was there a second ago? Hi, yes. I, I'm glad, I'm glad this didn't... Oh, hi. Yes. Game? I queued this up beforehand. <laughs> oh no! I can't believe it, I can't believe it. I had... Ah! Oh. <laughs> what do you mean you can't find the title? It's right there, is it not? Oh, no, I swear I got that. All right. Ah, there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we are. Look at that, it's Windows 98. Oh my gosh, that, that would have been so embarrassing if it's like, yep, and you can't stream it. We're gonna play this game that I had as a kid. Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the audio starts off kind of, you got that like loud ding kind of signal sound. And then uh, from there on out, it's... I mean, it's alright. Uh, I don't know how I really came into access of this. I, I think my parents just had it, or maybe they were like, Oh, it must be interesting for a, a guy as young as me. This is a game called... I the... am Dr. Thaddeus P. Oh my gosh. The third. The P stands for puzzles. I am the puzzle he's, master. He's the puzzle master. So, how do I explain what this is? The Last Mind of Dr. Brain is the third out of four Dr. Brain games, none of which I have played other than this one. We've got that lovely MIDI kind of beat. A lot of the MIDI jams in this, like, the good vibes, but it's also like... I don't know, this game used to terrify me. I think a part of, like, this, like, weird kind of animatronic face going on here... The... The fact he's literally got a hole where his head should be. I play pretty good, mm -hmm. Uh, perhaps the um, the inexplicable like <laughs> musical motifs and voice lines scattered across this bit. What I gotta do everything. I'm assuming we sit through the credits now because otherwise I will never get to show the credits. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get the credits out of the way now. Um, Listen to me. Uncle. Oh, this sounds weird out of context, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, this is probably one of like the deep cut, like just PC games I own. Time to solve the ultimate brain puzzle. Yeah, ultimate. Oh, spoilers. Uh, but I can't tell you what the other games are really about, or particularly what happens in them. Um, so all I can say is what this one is. Uh, Sierra is a company, you know, very well known for... Oh, we've already been through the, the, um... <laughs> the, uh... This... Alright, hey, here we are. So first of all, we gotta make a name. We got another funky baseline. This is, uh, <laughs> a test save I did, but we can, uh, make a new game. And, uh, in your that's uh, that's me. And we start off with a bit of a, a bit of a video. I am obsessed with the ancient science 
piece of puzzleometry. Puzzleometry? I have discovered that within puzzles lies the secret of human intelligence. That's that which kind of it. Us from the common beast. Okay. I mean, he's turning a page without even like doing anything, you know. I'm just... I don't know if you need puzzles, I my man. I spent so much time as of late puzzling about puzzles that Rathbone, my laboratory rat, has become my confidant and closest friend. And and he's also developing personality disorders, mostly because he's watching you do this in your doodle book. Drain. The brain Solve drain. The ultimate puzzle. The transfer of intellect from one creature to another. I remember um way back when on TV there was an episode of Cat Dog that had a kind of similar idea where it's like the one of them of kind of squishes his head. I'm pretty sure it was Cat. He like squishes his head and his brain basically smushes with, with dog's brain. I used to have a, this weird fear of like freaking brain drain what I, I, I don't know it's a very common thing in the 90s for some reason and anyway he taught his bee how to eat cheese I guess and also push corks now listen that was the bee's intellect not his like physical abilities the baseline that never ends Uncle, it's Elena. You must stop the experiment. I just read your email, and Uncle... Ooh, it's the future the email. ...brain filtration valve with a chunk of Rathbone's cheese is insane. It's insane. Ooh. Oh, Elena, it will be just fine. Don't worry. I think this game used to give me, like, nightmares on, like, everything. Like, freaking roads like this. I hurry. I can still stop him. Although she manages to pull this off. The bro could live, like... Anywhere a lot closer. I, I love how you have a cage, but clearly, like, you just grab him out of it. You do, what's the point of a cage if you don't open anything? Ooh, a sick parking job. I do like the sprite work in this. I, I feel like that there's something that like shares a character artist with another Sierra game, so there's probably a lot of a lot of cross like that. Uh, I'm very certain she just watches this happen, like I don't know. Uh I believe every single thing in this cutscene is a teaser as to what's to come in the game. Not particularly sure if we'll play them in this order, but hey, you know. I do like a good roller coaster that just doesn't go anywhere, though. I, yeah, I think there's something about like 90s Windows. Oh, and also something went wrong, apparently. And this uh, sends us straight to the menu. The main menu. Dr. Brain has transferred too much of his intellect to Rathbone. We'll have to reverse engineer every brain puzzle Dr. Brain has ever solved and reconstruct every Dr. Brain's single brain puzzle he's by ever solved. By recreating solutions to each brain puzzle he has ever worked on. When all the puzzles are solved, We'll pour his intellect back into the brain drain and pressure force the intelligence back into his own head. That's how this we works. We should begin the reconstruction immediately. Yes, immediately. Ah. <laughs> there's, there's something weird about, like, also both of these guys, like, saying the same things. Like, every time you click on them, they'll be like... The many-sided mind is right for every breeze. It's like, ah, uh, there's something weird. Well, well one, one is wise, wise two are happy. Oh my gosh. Okay, sure. Let's choose a section of the brain to work on. 
I do like this bass note right here as well. Um, but yeah, how this works is that the game has a nine, with a secret tenth, which we'll show off eventually, um, individual puzzles, basically. Each puzzle is just like, uh, how would I describe? Repeated puzzles, basically. They're, 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 all, they're all to a theme, to a structure. Uh, so let's start off with this train of thought. Let's go for it. Now entering train of thought. And then you'll proceed to def destroy the rat. I don't know, he's just fully dead. You get a bit of a jam, I guess. Oh, top of the morning to you. Tis a Ooh. fine day for a ride on the train with Rothbone O'Brien. Aye. <laughs> Oh, sure, and Bigor, I am the engineer of this here train of thought of a choo-choo-choo through the heather of me mind. All aboard! Oh my gosh. You must sort out Dr. Brain's scrambled ideas. Ideas emerge from the launching station one after another. The okay. docking station Makes will sense. request one specific idea at a time. Mm -hmm. You must get the ideas into the docking station in the correct order by toggling intersection switches. Each intersection switch can be toggled to change an idea's direction. Don't let ideas collide. Flipping the lever to stop freezes the game. Flipping the lever to start begins the game. Flipping the lever to start restarts the game. Fire up the boilers okay, and shut sure. on down the truck. Um, so yeah, but every single one of these... Any leprechauns, you hear? <laughs> every single one of these minigames involves something happening. So if I hit start here, we'll see this... Sun Dock the action. green ball if you please. Alright, so it's like we get the green one there. I assume we just kinda leave it tight until you react to this happening. Dock the blue ball if you please. Alright, makes sense. Easy enough. We'll be needing a red ball now. Yep, yeah, I got that. There we go. We did it. I sure talk about the luck of the Irish. This okay, is sure. Now Why is the Irish all of a sudden? All right. So how this I works? The tracks run o'er the green, green hills of Ireland. We're sure to do it again. Is this what Ireland looks like? Okay. So uh, on top of that, every single puzzle basically activate buttons to change level of gameplay difficulty. Yes. Clicking on the and brain can... will take you back to the laboratory. Yep. Okay. Um, so, pretty much every single one of these puzzles as well, there's, um, uh, you got three difficulties. Oh my gosh. Bing, 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 bing. You've got three difficulties, and, um, you saw I got 5% of the progress. If you play on the medium difficulty, you'll get 10% of the progress, and if you play on the hardest one, you'll get 15%. Whether you can actually do the puzzles really depends on you, but we're gonna do it, we're always gonna start with an easy one, and then we're gonna jump into the normal difficulty, and then we'll see what's going on and with a very ominous synth. A little faster now with some more ideas. This puzzle is now worth 10%. But we'll get some kind of wacky ideas going on, I'll tell you that, oh, I don't like this thing. Okay. I will be needing the gray ball now. Okay, so where are these going? These are going... Uh... Oh, what's that? That's gonna go... Oh. 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 Mind your thoughts here. We have a fair bit happening all at the same time. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. I will be needing the gray ball now. I mean, I'm assuming if I send it around like this, then it's okay, and I should just kind of temporarily keep them in a, a loop. But he just needs the gray one first, right? So, I mean, this should be a... Why do I even need him in a loop when I can just wait until that's gone past, and then... Oh, because something's going to collide with something there. Okay. Yep, I'm, I'm just paying attention. I just see them... I see them going around. I think we're good. I think we're all right. Sure. And it'll come around. Be the gray there you go. Now. See, I can do train ball puzzle. I can do it. Uh, but yeah, so... I mean, these are all puzzles somewhat. You have effectively anticipated the chaos of this puzzle by creating mental loops and traps. I this section is now 15% complete. Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. And as the tracks run o'er the green... 
Uh, I do not know how hard hard is. We're gonna take some cracks at them. With some more ideas. We'll this take some cracks at it. But I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Dock okay. The blue ball, if you please. Oh, okay. So I'm seeing that we're sort of screwed here. Um, blue's going around there. So how about let's direct one blue around. And that, oh, that's getting stuck here. Um, okay, hold on. So if I... That's just going to send it back. So I guess sure, okay. That's not really going to help. So I think I'm forced into chucking it around the loop down there. Which is not good. Okay, hold on. Let's start oh, that up again. Where you been? Yeah, okay. And sure if you get on yep. the Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um Dock the blue ball if you please. Start with the blue one. Okay. I mean, if I'm quick, maybe I'll beat the timing, but I think really what I want to do is like shift them over here basically, cuz this is going to start looping around here. Actually, the reds are going to leak out. Oh, I might be able to keep him in... Nah, I'm sort of stuck into keeping him in here. And then the reds are gonna... Yeah, the reds will leak out. But maybe it's okay? Oh, well, I got two of them through, but that's okay. Alright, so now, I think what I want to do is get one of these blue balls out somewhere around here. So I think if I make it like lap around here. How do I make it so it avoids the green? Maybe I can move the green around to this loop here. Or not. I faith in big Gosh, what am I doing here? I don't know, maybe we just drop down to normal. I, I don't want to get stuck on these for too long because I really only want to spend two streams on this Let's game. Let's slow things down a bit. Okay. So, uh, okay. The blue ball, if you please. The blue ball, okay. We've got this kind of ominous tunnel where things magically come out at different positions and... Mind your thought. And then it's also queued up the wrong way. We'll be needing the blue ball now. Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. I, I, I like how it's like, first thing, and the game just kicks my butt. There you go. Oh, and they self collide as well. We'll be needing the blue ball now. Do do all greens go that way? Maybe. And oh my gosh. Dock the blue ball if you please. This, this would be very boring if I was just like sticking to the easy difficulty the whole time, but I don't know, man. Some some of these games I'm alright with. And some of them are just like, nah, man, I'll kick my butt. Dock the green ball, if you please. We'll be. Oh, am I we'll like be... super set all of a sudden? Okay, sure. Okay. We'll be ne Each successful strategy you use leads you to further successes. Yes. This section is now twenty-five percent complete. Yep. Uh, you've basically got to just keep doing more and more puzzles. As you as you go along, but uh, yeah. We'll be needing the blue ball. Uh, uh, mystery tunnel. Oh, that mystery tunnel is the exit. Yep. Okay. Sure. I see. I mean, I've really we'll only got two choices, and I I don't think this is relevant. This is this ever relevant? Oh. Oops. But I, w I I am gonna restart that just because I want the I want the blue ball. Dang it. Yeah, Dock I don't think the, the switch is ever relevant. They just designed this puzzle and it's like, I don't know. You just watch down here and react. And then keep him on a loop because you don't know what's next. I will be needing the gray ball now. Everyone likes a good train sound though. 
probably green, red, green. Oh no, it's red. We'll be needing a red ball now. I'm just guessing the pattern right here. Because it's is it ever the same color twice? Probably Dock not. The red yep, ball I got it. You're good. You're good, man. You're good. Yep, you're good. Congratulations. Your use of logic and quick decision making show increasing mental ability Thank you. to surmount Thank you. obstacles. Thank you. This section is now 35% complete. Okay, sure. When you get back on the train, ask for your favorite conductor, Rathbone O'Brien. Also, you can ask for a hint. Create a stable system by catching the thoughts in loops. Yep, that's that's literally what I was doing. Alright, uh, I'm just watching how this goes. We've got a little blue line here. I'm not really sure what's going on there. I had and then, uh... I will be needing a grey ball now. I'm assuming just don't let them out unless you're good, right? Like here. Should be alright though. Cause that's all it is, yeah. Dock the blue ball if you please. This is a bit more tedious than <laughs> than hard, isn't it? Because it's just like oh, I'm waiting for it. Alright. But yeah, no, how's everyone's how's everyone's weeks been? Uh lots of good stuff. I w I like how I was um holding off Dock on talking about uh if you please. about the um the Xbox conference, which is basically the E3 style of just, we're going to announce everything and, and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, and then Nintendo comes out with theirs. I'm going to take a shot in the dark, it's blue, red, blue. We'll be needing the blue ball now. Uh, and, uh, now as, as someone, I always feel a little self-conscious about this because it's like, I know there's a lot of... Mind your thoughts here. We have a fair bit happening all at the same time. What? Oh, it's because the blues go on the little tiny path. I will be needing the gray ball now. I'm dying on the inside. Did I just go fat? The gray ball now. No, how come that worked? How come that worked? I, I'll, I'll never know. I'll never know why. Dock the blue ball if you please. <laughs> okay, alright, let's get in there. Let's get in there, bro. Let's get in there. Um. So yeah, the I, I always feel a little like. Hi, sure, you're yeah, this I'll just I'll just click through because I know complete. what we're doing. Um, I always feel a little curious because, um, there's a lot of, there's an opinion about, uh, like, YouTubers or other kinds of streamers that do, uh, exclusively or at least mostly Nintendo content. I feel like I like doing a good variety of things. Uh, so where does this go? I assume they're all sort of caked around this loop. And then you can let them go, I guess? Oh, well, the green's going over there. Oh, that makes sense. And that's around this loop, so okay. Uh, no it's not. Oh, I can get them to go the wrong way. Like that. Mind your oh my gosh, okay, hold on. So, it goes up there, blue goes that way, red goes down this loop, blue goes around there, blue continues to go there, green heads up and into this bit, blues come out of there, they all go across here, and then they're into this. This loop then comes back in the second hole. And then something's collided. What? I am... <laughs> Is this we'll really a puzzle? I don't know. Alright, let's just get one of them through. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know. 
there's a struggle with streamers who do exclusively Nintendo stuff because that will naturally attract a lot of younger viewers. Alright, let's let one green around and then proceed to not let any more. That's hit something. I faith in big Where? Why well, how? Get... I'm really not sure Drop what I'm green what's ball happening here. Alright, let's just keep them all kind of trapped up here. Except for that one green. I mean, it's just these five balls. If I time that right. No. We'll be needing the green ball now. I feel like this tunnel is the key to to success, though. It seems like that. Um, so where does this lead out to? Oh, so that goes the right way. So really, I just want to. We'll be needing the blue ball now. I just need to exit it the right way. That's it. Just keep him in this loop and then open that up, and the way I go. We'll be needing the red ball now. I'm gonna try and get the one in the middle. There you go. Don't need pausing. I'm good. I'm, I'm smooth. The gray ball, if you please. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, I feel like Nintendo stuff is also the kind of content that I can describe in the best Dock detail. The green ball, if you please. Because I, I mean, I've played a lot of these games, whereas like on the Xbox showcase, I'm not really sure if I can speak to this amount of detail um, for them. So. Uh, how about let's go through all the Nintendo Direct games announced in Talk the order the of the presentation, ball. and I can uh, oh, share some thoughts. Sure this, this section is now 55%. 55. 55. We're still making making sure. a bit of slow progress, but sure. If you come back now, I'll. Uh, okay, where, where are we we'll going? First of all, the red ball why it goes this way? Uh, I mean, there's a loop around here, I guess. Red, blues caught in there. Reds. Chilling around here. Green. Where does green go? Green's also in the loop. Okay. Okay. Again, it's like this is a worthless railway, and probably that one as well. All right. So I guess it's just guess the railway and hope for the best. Okay, that one's safe. We'll be needing the green ball now. Where do you think this one goes? That goes straight there. Talk the gray ball if you please. Talk the blue ball if you please. Okay, we got it. Uh, so let's go in order from uh, for the the presentation. The first thing I they showed off when the Nintendo the Direct started was uh, Mario and Luigi Brothership. This is a brand new. Uh, Mario and Luigi RPG the in the um, in Masters. the same way as this Superstar Saga, uh, Bowser's complete. Inside Story, Partners in and Time. The tracks run or um, these are I, I've played a, a good number of them. They're, they're good fun um, little JRPGs with a bit of we'll just kind of. The red ball now. I guess I'd describe it as quick time event combat. You press A as Mario jumps on the enemy, and uh, you'll do some extra damage. Um, Oh, I just realized this is a route to the end, and uh, some are going to shortcut their way straight there, except... Oh, the first, the, the first two were okay. And then it stopped being okay. Dock the red ball, if you please. So if I just, like, cut it off at the blue one, because it seems that red, green, and white were also, or gray were happening, like, right away. I can't control that, can I? It. No, where can I control that? Here, I guess. Oh. Okay. Um, the trailer didn't really show off a ton that, like, I don't fully know about these games. Like, they're kind of like, okay, there's a lot of... There's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of gameplay mechanics, and, and, you know, I guess the characters do their JRPG things. There's probably a lot to the story uh, that you won't quite see in a trailer. Um... I 
don't think you could truly stop. Oh, I guess you can. The gray bowl now. I guess you could stop the gray there. Dock the red ball if you please. Pretty all right. Uh, but uh, oops, I've accidentally started that, so we've got to respond quick. Oh no. Dock the gray ball. I. Was not paying Zayn attention. The red ball, if you please. I've assimilated his accent, apparently. Um, but yeah, if I had to be critical, I would definitely say that I don't know really a lot in the trailer that would make me go, "Ah, oh, yes, this is a completely brand new original game, and it's not just re you know a, a, another another sequel." Basically, I, I don't know if it's that. Um, Dock the gray ball, if you please. But certainly, I mean, it looks promising. I like the art style. I like the um, the the character animations. That seems nice and fun. Um, so as long as it's you know consistent and sort of up to people's expectations, I think that's that's all good. Um, so yeah. Uh, next one they showed off was Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Your this is a to multi track has served you yes, well. We're this there. section is now seventy five percent. Seventy five. Oh my gosh. Okay. When you get back on the. Tr oh my gosh. What am I looking at here? Dock uh, the green ball if you please. Let's see. We got four rails. They look like they spit themselves out into little loops, and then uh, gonna hope for the best that you've juggled them around here. All right. Almost. Oh, sh <laughs> it's about to swear his head off. Green ball, if you please. Oops. Oops. I'm I'm curious how much I quicker you get through it if you're on the easier difficulty though. We'll just like take a crack at an easier one. Let's like I look at this and I go, oh, like this is the gray ball fairly obvious because it's just like here are two rails and you can easily just you know, respond. It's very hard for to get the ball to go backwards on a train. Dock the blue ball if you please. Yeah. Oh, that hard one. I'm just like, oh my gosh, jeez. Mind you. I'm colorblind, apparently. Dock the gray ball, if you please. Um, but yeah, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Uh, this seems like it's basically uh, another NES Remix game, uh, even if they're not calling it NES Remix. Uh, so they've got various challenges where it's like, oh, you're at this point in uh, Super Mario Brothers. Can you do this we'll in a certain amount of time? Can you now. get through like World World Eight in a you know, a few minutes. And, uh, I guess it time trials you and, uh, away you go. Uh, it seems alright, but I don't know if NES Remix exactly screams out to me as, like, a very appealing game to pick up. Um, just because it's, like, not that, not that, like, NES games are old and stinky and doo-doo, but more just, like, I'm not sure if NES Remix exactly gives me um, Dock the green ball if you please. I guess that much interest in terms of like is this something I've never done before or is this just like you're just reskinning an NES game External forces and one that I've played quite a handful of times you already your brain in increasingly effective ways Thank you. this section is now 80% complete AT. okay so if I go back to normal we're still on that one right yeah. Okay. We got. We got nail this. We got this. We'll be needing the green ball now. Okay. I think I was pretty all right here. I just gotta like hook this up at some point. And the green ball slots perfectly in between. Eh. There we go. It should be a lot more smooth sailing from here. Dock the gray ball, if you please. Dock the red ball, go. if you please. Uh, so next one is uh, Fairy Tale 2. I know I that Fairy Tale is an anime. I cannot tell you much more than that, unfortunately. Oh, really? I'm 
The one, the one time like I it. link it up like that. Nice. We'll be needing the green ball now. Uh, I can't tell you that much about Fairy Tale, really. It just kind of looks like it's a JRPG. And you walk around and you fight things in a, um, you know, in a turn-based battle. Um, yeah, really not sure what I can say about it. Just kind of exists. Um, not against it, though. Uh, also, I guess that's a general vibe of this. That's two out of three games that are RPG so far. Um, definitely, if you weren't a big fan of uh, JRPGs, then uh, oh boy, oh boy, there's, there's quite a bunch to be to be Dock seen. The red ball, if you please. Okay, okay, hold on. There you go. Dock the gray ball, if you please. And then do we get the red one out, or we get the blue one? We'll be needing the blue ball now. Easy. Lots easier than I, <laughs> I was dreading. I was we'll like, oh no. We'll be the red ball now. As you deal with mult, this section yep. is now 90% We're almost complete. there. We're almost there. And then we can move on to something sure. visually different. <laughs> if you... Uh, okay. We'll what's going on the here? Red ball now. Uh, tunnel. Tunnel. Probably keep him in a loop here. I have no idea what's going on down here. They're following all that route, okay. They're still going somewhere. Green's just back up the top. Red's in the loop, so let's just let one through. White's out, blue's out. I think red's gonna like Dock the gray ball if you please. Come back somewhere. That's gonna get annoying. We'll be needing the green Oops. ball now. Should be good there, though. We'll be needing the blue ball now. I think we're good. I think we're set. Dock the green ball, if you please. Wherever the green one's gone, there it is. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Next one on the list is called Dr. Fantasian Ball, Neo Dimension. Please. From what I know, I think this is actually a mobile game that was released as two separate like parts. Um, you have finished the train it. of thought and are ready to move on to one of the other brain sections. Continued players at your discretion. Why yes, <laughs> me trains of thought are on track indeed. Thank you. I am that oh my was gosh. fun. Alright, so there's still more puzzles and stuff, but, uh, yeah, you don't need to keep playing once you've hit that point. Um, and this allows us to jump into a new puzzle, so sure, okay. Uh, but yeah, Fantasian is a, uh, turn-based RPG where the, uh, gameplay gimmick is effectively you're doing, um, uh, Each you're lobbing the shots around to, to hit enemies. Um, and that is the hardware of intelligence. Let's wow. move into another area of the brain. Let's just go kind of clockwise around here. We'll see what we're doing. I don't remember this one at all. Now entering the synaptic cleft. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, the Fantasia looks okay. Um, I'm not really too sure. I mean, story is story. It's very hard to know based on the trailer. But the gameplay, I'm like, yeah, I, I like this idea of you're not necessarily hitting target. Like, you're just picking a target from a menu. It's like, oh, you kind of have to, you know, design your arc pretty okay. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, I'm Rathbone Joe Bob. Yep. Today is roundup time on the Synaptic Cleft Brain Range, partner. I like how it's now like, oh, you know, there's something weird with his brain and he's put it into a rat and now it's like, what, what is this? From one cell into the Synaptic Cleft, you must successfully guide them to the receptor cell. Neurotransmitters are destroyed when they collide with obstacles or each other. You have the ability to provide a repelling force in the cleft by clicking and holding down your mouse button. The force you implement okay. will radiate from the point of impact and affect the entire system. Well, howdy all you cow folk. It's time to round up them there neurotransmitters. Get them up. Move them out. Let's go. Okay. So I think this is like fairly straightforward where it's like a, a lot more real time of a puzzle. You're just trying to feed them into the into the end and you can push them away I guess but they can hit like 
walls, I think. It's just more like you gotta get so many of them through. Pump pump your veins here, apparently. I mean, they are also cows, are they not? What is this, Uncle Grandpa? What was that? <laughs> Whoops. Just click right on it, just launch it somewhere. Uh, to the next one, Nintendo Switch Sports. I played a fair bit of Nintendo Switch Sports, uh, which was sort of like my last minute allure to a battle pass, because it's like, oh, it, I know, right? It's got a battle pass. I'm like, ah. that's a sound. Hey, I'd sing you all a tune, but I forgot my guitar. This section is now 5% complete. Okay. Yeah, hey, let's brush off the dust and get after them there near How much harder does it get on easy? Is there anything? I don't think there's anything in the way. I think it just launches more at slightly weird rates. Which is Received like... Received neurotransmitters will begin to decay after a period of time and will need to be replaced. This puzzle is now worth 10%. Okay. So they'll start to gravitate towards, like, some objects. Away from other objects, I guess, in this case. But since I've only got one mouse, it's like. It's a bit odd. And you gotta avoid this rock in the middle. Ah, it's like. Sometimes it's just being a bit particular. And then the bar goes down. Hey, did I say I, I, say I was good at this one? I don't know. I don't think I did. <laughs> Bro, is there any time to, like, get this right? It's not like you put your mouse in one, like, spot. It's like you kind of have to react to each one as it comes through. Oh my gosh. That was a launch and half. And sometimes they just hit the end. Bro, are we- are we gonna be able to do this on normal? Oh my gosh. I wonder if they play- oh, come on. I wonder if they play te tested this and it's like, oh yeah, you know, we can do this like consistently all the time, you know? What's the problem? But like, I'm pretty sure this is for kids in some way, right? This is just- what is this, really? <laughs> I don't think I'm making any progress. That's why we're gonna move to the hard difficulty. We'll just see what hard's about. Received neurotransmitters will begin to decay after a period of time and will need to be replaced. The system will now move a little more rapidly. This puzzle is now worth- Okay, but hey, if I can, if I can nail it, then it's okay. Hey, if I can just position my mouse just right, maybe this is good. Even if they start coming out like weird angles. Had it there for a hot second. But I don't know if that's because I moved my mouse in the process. We got one. We're oh, getting there. Hey! Just don't move. There you go. Perfection right there. Perfection. Uh, but yeah, no, I played Switch Sports and uh, they're announcing that there's a you basketball free DLC. So now you can play you eight sports the in the game. Uh, basketball this is one of them. I am glad complete. that there is basketball. I don't it's like know say, how well it will play, but I'm at least glad right that, you know, there's on. more and more stuff in the game. That's all right. Uh, but my, my problem is just generally the game, which is... Uh, uh, you know, it, it sort of is fed off this battle pass, and that, that's okay, I guess, but it's also just like, 
you know, from launch, three of the six games were sort of tennis adjacent. You had badminton, you had uh, actual tennis, and then you had um, volleyball, which is like almost that. Um, so it's like, I feel like the interest in the game sort of waned because you had just so many of these very similar kinds of sports. Um, that as well, there's not much to really do, and it doesn't really have the ability to play with your friends in the same way as like other, you know, Wii Sports titles. So it sort of... Mm, it fell off. Also, the servers, I think people said, is, or say, is, like, kind of a bit, ugh. Oh, we're almost there. Come on. Come on, though. Anyway, next one is called Neo Memory in Orbit. Uh, I... I don't know if I could describe it in a uh, very, very um, positive way if I said it reminds me of Hollow Knight, but it's kind of like that, you know, that 2D, um, can I, I wish you could just move these objects around and then it's like, oh, there you go, now you've got a, a nice trajectory. I don't know. I don't know if you can pull this off quite right. Because it's like if I try and direct one like that, it's like, okay, now I try to get the next one. And, and it's back down already. It's like you get no time. This might be one where I just grind it all out on easy. I'm gonna give myself like an extra minute on this and then it's like, yeah, nah. What a shame. What a shame. Because some of the other puzzles, it's like... Hard difficulty is like... Feasible. Maybe this is why it has like a 60 on Metacritic. Oh well. Oh, back to easy, I guess. I'm a baby, I have to play on easy. But it's like... I mean, if it's on easy, you could just do this where it's like you just sort of... No, launch them at the right angle. Or not. Oh, we just guide them in, I guess. Guide them into hitting the wall. Yeah, like, what makes this, like, different to the original level? I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, Mia looks okay. I actually, I like that it's, it's aesthetic, and I think there's probably a, a lot of, like, nice movement to it. Um, definitely I'd keep an eye on this one. I don't know if it already exists, though. Uh, like, if it's on other platforms. That's, that's always the thing where it's like, just, just because they're announced during a Nintendo Direct does not necessarily mean that they weren't already released as something. Um, case in point, you Disney Illusion Island Mystery in Monith Update. I do not know what this, this game was no to begin with. I, is it a platformer? Is it a party game? I don't really know. But it must have already been out, and now there's a, uh, an update. So, okay, sure, I guess. Uh, next one is Hello Kitty Island Adventure, which, uh... For those who don't know, Hello Kitty Island Adventure is apparently a mobile game that's, uh, I, if I had to describe it, um, sort of, well, if I call it Animal Crossing-like, it's not really quite accurate because I'm pretty sure, uh, there's no day mechanic, but it does remind, oh, maybe there is actually, because it is a mobile game, um, but it does rec remind me, um, just aesthetically, you've got your, your kind of, I guess your, your, your town, or I guess it's an island in this game, um, and, uh, you know, your various characters, and it's kind of just, you know, a bit cutesy. You decorate things, and maybe someone will tell you that your decorations are good, and that unlocks things, or lets you do more things, and so on. Because you um, did not freeze up in the face of hazards, your adrenaline flow helped move you towards overcoming them. This section is now 30% complete. But, uh, also, just to, Come just to... On. what do you say? Let's saddle up and go dump. Oh my gosh, they've actually introduced one obstacle. On easy. I can't believe they've done it. Um, but one thing I actually kind of like is that there is actual 
platforming later on. There's actual, like, the Hello Kitty Island adventure. They're like, oh, you know, we go into this volcano and we, we're cooking witch's brew and uh, we're doing minecart puzzles and all those other kinds of stuff. And I'm like, that's, that's cool. That's really neat. Um, so definitely uh, give this one a look. I don't know. I'm like, Hello Kitty Island adventure looks hilariously, like, enticing. I mean, I'm not saying that it's like we don't expect it out of Hello Kitty because that's that um, that's that SNES game, that Super Famicom game, that's like really really fun with two people. Um, but I'm just, I, it's more like don't dismiss it just because it's Hello Kitty. Thirty-five percent complete. Thirty-five. Okay. Oh. Don't dismiss it because it's Hello Kitty. I think this one's actually all right. Um, also, as a hilarious thing, uh, there's an old South Park episode from like 2006. Where uh, they're talking about playing World of Warcraft, and uh, someone's like, I, I, I don't know, because I don't watch South Park. Someone's just like, I, I was playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure, like exact name, and it's like, oh look, here's a game, Hello Kitty Island Adventure. So that's fun. That's good fun. Uh, next one in the list is uh, Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports. I I had four predictions, by the way, like not really you know, big, groundbreaking predictions, but I just kind of went, there would be four uh, things. This if I had to, if I had to claim complete. four things that would happen in the direct, uh, I said oh. that there would be at least one farming game. Um, I don't think Hello Kitty quite matches, so I'm, I wasn't counting that. Uh, there would be a Mario Basketball Amiibo. I don't know why, I thought they'd mention Amiibo. Um... Which, by the way, Nintendo Switch Sports Basketball, I was like, mm, I was very close on that one. Uh, they would mention Pushmo in some way, and I forgot my fourth suggestion, but I knew it didn't come true, so it's not important. Um, well, anyway, we got Looney Tunes well, Wacky World of Sports, basically, basically Mario Sports Mega Mix, uh, but uh, Looney it's Tunes. Like they say, if you fall off, they you play badminton right or tennis, I don't know which, it's probably just tennis. Uh, they play football, or soccer if you call it that. Uh, there's probably basketball, and uh, the characters look kind of weird and interesting, I guess? I don't know, it's Looney Tunes, it's never really appealed to me. Um, I guess there's a part of me that's like... I don't know actually why I've never really felt Looney Tunes connected with me. I don't know. I'm gonna say a bad Burger King running. As if that justifies everything I've ever felt, I don't know. Uh, next one up is Among Us, new roles. This is an update to Among this Us, because I was like, oh, oh my gosh, complete. was Among Us not on the Switch before? Yeah. No, it totally is. It's fine, it's it's, it's on the Switch already. Uh, but there's, a, there's an update, so if you ever played Among Us before, now there's a bit more to do, which is kind of nice, because... Uh, I, I worried that the company didn't know how to, like, scale their work. They made a ton of revenue off the original Among Us. Um, sort of surprise, like, because it's a 2017 game that got big in 2019. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't too sure if they knew what to do with it. And uh, they were like, oh, we're going to make a sequel. And then they sort of went, we have no idea. Well, not no idea, but just we don't want to make a sequel anymore. So we're going to just keep kind of side-porting features into regular Among Us. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's cool, that's fair and fine. This is very annoying for some reason. Because I keep kind of slowing down as I get near the end. I'm like arcing this kind of weird way. I can't like handle it when the bar goes down that fast on the harder difficulties. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. It's just a bit of pain, so... Uh... Yeah, Among Us looks alright. Next one up is called Farmagia. This one is definitely a farming game. Farmagia is a farming game where you play as a guy and you farm, but then hilariously the combat is, uh, like, who would win? Uh, a billion tigers or the sun? Because every single crop you grow is actually an animal? This guy grows tigers on a tree, or on a, on a like, harvest crop, like a corn crop. And just a wolf comes out of, off it, or a tiger, or whatever. And then he has, like, 30 of them, and he, like, launches them towards this, like, big golem guy. 
What a very curious trailer. What a very curious concept. Um, Just think of how you have integrated your understanding of uh, physics, biology, so, and chemistry. So yeah, what a what a what a curious curious one. Uh, some people complete. I've I've seen have been very liking yeah. the character design. So if you're a uh, character design aficionado, uh, particularly look at 56 minute, uh, seconds in the trailer, and uh, that's your characters. You can be the judge of that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell tell you off, Pro Jared. You can't you can't just say mummy in the middle of a stream. I'm not letting you get away with that one. Don't be safe, horny on main. All characters are alright, okay? Anyways, uh speaking of uh on main, Donkey Kong Country it Returns HD. We have the same the Donkey Kong Country Returns game from when was it? 2010? Was it a 2010 game or a 2009 game on the Wii? Uh, definitely one that, like, people really, really liked. And, hey, it's by, it's by Retro Studios. They know what they're doing. Good on them. Um, I played a fair bit of it, but, uh, never quite beat it when I was younger, and I've never come back to it. Um, certainly I remember it's painful to 100%. Just getting all the little, like, tokens and stuff. It's not just the Kong tokens, right? It's, like, all these, like, jigsaw pieces mid-level as well. At this section is now 70% complete. They really, wow, I picked like two like kind of sleeper puzzles to start off. I swear they get better, I think, maybe, from memory. It's been ages since I've actually played this, like, properly. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, this is hopefully now the actual definitive version of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, returns because uh, the problem with the Wii version was that uh, you had to waggle the the Wii remote in order to roll, which was basically how you wanted to be moving a lot of the time. It just felt very needless, and there's no uh, button equivalent. Is now so uh, that kind of annoyed people. Uh, it then got a 3DS port, which it's did locked. fix that, but it's on the 3DS, and I think there's some performance concerns with the 3DS version. So it's like, uh, it's it's not quite as ideal as the Wii, but it, it plays a bit better. It's also got some bonus content as well. Uh, this Switch version, I don't believe contains any new content, but will include at least the 3DS content. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty as well, because it's, you know, it's act <laughs> They've called it HD, which is like, man, you know, like, when, when have we, like, had 3D HD remasters of, of games, like, back in the Xbox 360, PS3 days? So like 2007 or so on, and just, you'd have HD remasters everywhere. And now it's like, they rarely show up, but this is legitimately the only HD version of this game. So, I guess it counts. Yeah. Um, and for reference, they've already done Tropical Freeze on the Switch, so there's no need to do that. But, um, people are certainly wanting new a Denver new Donkey to, Kong game. This section is now 80% complete. 80, man, I gotta keep going. Jeez. Uh, so next one in the list is, uh, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Uh, this was teased ages ago, I think. People knew it was definitely happening, but we didn't know when. Uh, and the answer is, uh, November. It's coming up pretty soon. Dragon Quest 3 is, uh, one I haven't yet played on the channel, but I have played 1 and 2. Uh, 3 is definitely really when the game hits its, uh, you know, it's kind of momentum, it's stride. A lot of the mechanics that sort of felt a little weird in 2 make a ton of sense in 3. They've got the dungeons way better, the right enemy hemisphere. variety I think is a bit better. Um, there's actual stories going on. This section oh is now 85% complete. I don't know what she's doing in the corner the whole time. I think <laughs> it's, it's a curious one. They gotta have a face, I guess. Because she is going to talk to you, so... Um... But yeah, Dragon Quest 3 is going to be great, so I, I at least appreciate that. Uh, what do I think of the art style? I think it's alright. It reminds me a lot of just like, you know, the DS versions of uh, Dragon Quest 4, 5, 6, um, and as well. Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, but yeah, the, the, the pixel art style for Dragon Quest 3, I am fine with it. I think, personally, I still would like just... You know, like, you like just look like Dragon Quest 8, you know? You, you could do it with Dragon Quest 7. That, that had this, this same pixel aesthetic complete. on its original release, and then the 3DS version well. properly put in the effort to, um, to, uh, 
like, you know, give it, give it a nice 3D treatment, because you can. And I think it looks great, and it's certainly a definitive version of the game. This, I mean, it's... I don't think we've had this treatment for the, uh, for Dragon Quest III. Because the only other release of this is it's on mobile and it's on the Game Boy Color. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's alright. Just how much extra content is there? Because uh, this is a full <laughs> price game. It costs 90 Australian. It costs, uh, 95, okay, we're one away. Um, it costs the full $90 Australian or $60 US for Dragon Quest Three again. I'm like, ah, oh, like... I like Dragon Quest III, but do I like it enough for that? And also, does it really take that much effort to port Dragon Quest III? Apparently. So, okay, I guess. Um, they also teased right at the end that early next year, or next year full stop, uh, would be a Dragon Quest 1 and 2 remaster. Now, for the people who have never played Dragon Quest at all, I think some people absolutely hype this. I'm definitely like a Dragon Quest One is very novel, but it is also short. Dragon Quest Two is okay. Uh, I think Three is certainly a much better entry point, and I'm glad they're doing Three first. But also, I don't know if One and Two ever needed that. Also, all three of these games are already on the Switch. You have finished they the have the mobile ports and are ready to move on, to uh, one of the on the Switch, so... Sections. Except in Australia, they're not Continue released here for some reason. At your discretion. Thank you, my man. I'm it's gonna like bail. Way. Get out of this minigame. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> I do like lightning noises in my I'm music, though. Yep. I don't think it's loading anything. I think I just wanted to take that time. But I, I love how she's up, brain has she's up here in the corner talking, the but she's over here in the corner the talking. Ahead. What's going on? Let's move into another area of the brain. And all of these all of these parts of the brain just look like France. This one, neural maze. Now entering the neural maze. It's like a neural network, but uh for people who keep calling it AI all the time, I don't know. We got construction noises. You know what this means? Pipes. What are you doing down here? Look around. Can you see we got a mess down here? Okay, okay. Use is here. Use is gotta get out of here. Use is here. What is he sitting out. in? You must successfully navigate Rathbone through the maze. I don't maze think I want to know. I don't to uh, Use your mouse to guide Rathbone into transport tubes. I feel like you catch disease Upon looking at it. Upon entering the neural transport, Rathbone is moved from one opening to the other. Arrows will move you up or down a level. Find your way to the finish to successfully complete the maze. Keep your socks yeah, so, the, okay, this one's a bit We're simpler to fine. understand. Uh, pretty much you... <laughs> you can just use the arrow keys, you wander around, and then the idea is that these are just pipes. And it, uh, sometimes the design looks a little funky, but it's just like, you can stand on the black circles, and if you're on one end of a pipe, you go to the other side, and then the directions that are there move you up or down a floor. And you won't be able to see what's up or down the floor unless you're on it, but uh, you can kind of tell like where the ladders are. So this is a dead end, so it's like, oh, okay, we just wander back. Uh, all the way back, really, because it's just like the last branching location is uh, all the way back here, basically. Just going the wrong way to start off. Uh, but it's just a maze. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll find your way. You'll figure it out, I guess. So this one's nice and chill. Also, you have ones like that where it's like technically you go up or down. Oh, well, I mean, we don't need to explore the rest of the maze. We're here. Easy. This that's, section that's is the now sound you expected, by the way. Complete. Right? Fortunately... Look, you know, I really like you. So what do you say? Let's take another hike through the maze. Oh, okay. Uh, harder difficulties just make it bigger. You now have additional levels to navigate. This puzzle is now worth 10%. Yeah, that's all good, though. Uh, okay, so, I mean, the, f the finish is just right above me. There. So I'm visually going, okay, well, I think you can also very faintly see what's underneath. 
So at least there's that as like a mechanic, I guess, if you're thinking about that. So I see the, the, the red arrow there. And I'm just kind of mentally mapping. That's uh, then the floor below there. Which then connects to the floor below there. Which then has two paths. Uh, one of which is below here, there. Which is still below there. Which is still below there. I think I just mentally just saw it. I'm just catching it halfway. I'm just following along. Hold on. Legit. Legit. Did I just nail this? I just nailed this. This is some god tier maze solving apparently. I used to be fascinated with mazes when I was younger. I'd like draw my own like little paths and they'd have the, the um the, like swivelly arrow thing like the Pokemon... This Team Rocket hideouts, and I'd be like, oh, complete. when you step on these, and you gotta go in that direction oh, until that you hit a wall or something, which is again. how it works in the game. But, uh, I used to always be fascinated with, like, how, like, convoluted I can, like, make these things, and, uh, maybe you that's, like, an ADHD, like, kind of navigate. thing. I don't know. This puzzle is I'm not diagnosed with anything. I'm just, like, <laughs> I think I was just a weird kid. That was it. So, uh, anyway, next up in the, in the, uh, Switch Direct, or the Nintendo Direct, is Funko Fusion. This is a game... It f plays your favorite Funkos. You can play as Funkos. Hooray. Um, there's a there's something a bit soulless about Funko Pops, uh, which I find hilarious, but also uh, kind of tragic as well. Uh, this has a lot of franchises uh, and characters in it, but what is the game about? Who knows? It's weirdly violent looking as well. Not saying that that's like, you know... Inherently, the game sucks, because um, it's just like, you know, it, it's just a characteristic of it, but it's like, I was expecting this to be a lot more for kids. Um, not not maybe young kids, but certainly like maybe just teenagers? I don't really know what I'm expecting here. Uh, okay, I guess I go up, but I'm probably hitting a dead end, the green, yeah, that's a dead end, not the green. Yeah, okay, sure. I don't know if these mazes were designed or not as well, or whether they're randomly generated. That'd be cool if they were random. But it does mean I get, like, kind of unintuitive, like, obstacles like that. I had a bunch of options to start this one off as well, didn't I? Uh, this is also a dead end there. So, cool, okay. We'll get there, nice and chill, and constantly hearing this sound effect. I want to know the, the disc where all these sound effects came from, you know what I mean? Because a lot of them were from that, so... Uh, yeah, not much to say about Funko Fusion. The frame rate looks a bit atrocious. Um, but, eh, might be okay. It's on other platforms. It's also not a Toys to Life game. I think a lot of people are confused that they think it's a Toys to Life game. It's not. It's a game about toys, but it's not a Toys to Life game. Um, in the sense that you don't need to buy Funko Pops in order to play this game. Uh, dead end. Nice. I can see that, uh, I need to go down the red, the stairs there, which means I'm mentally just following it here, which means I need to be directly above me. Well, so I need to, I need to go down further. Now I need to get up, up there, just the ledge up, that's it. Uh, almost there. Uh, red, orange. Hold on, is that going to lead me the right way? Uh, maybe I'll go down here first. I'm going to get so dreadfully lost here, I tell you. Uh, oh, oh, mm, maybe? My gut feeling's this way. That's a dead end. No! Oh. Dang it. Just secretly getting crazy lost. Lost mind. More like, haha. 
It's the game. Oh, wait, wait, we're onto something here. Yeah, I'm onto something. Yeah, I'm onto it. I'm onto it. We got it. We got it. We're there. We're there. Convoluted, though, I'll tell you that. There we go. Easy. Yeah, this one's probably not that bad. This section is now 30% complete. Uh, next one is called The New Demper Men. I don't Come know on, what the old Demper Men was, uh, but this is apparently the new one. Um, it's a free-to-play game? I'm not too sure what the monetization model is, but, uh, uh, I'm like, sure, okay, curious. Uh, dead end. Cool. Um, it's a turn-based RPG where you control lots of, uh... These characters that are basically like, uh, I guess I'd just describe as like warrior wear aliens with uh, faces. Uh, they're, they're brightly colored, but uh, I don't know more than that. It's an RPG, so that's that's the most I can say, but sure. Uh, looks okay, I guess. Free to play, so uh, probably not a... Not a, not a risk to jump in on, I guess. Uh, more dead ends. Yeah. Uh, next one is Metal Slug Attack Reloaded. They described this as a Metal Slug Tower Defense. And I collectively went... Collectively? Uh, me just collectively. I am my own collection. I just went, ooh, I like Metal Slug. I like Tower Defenses. This seems like a match made in heaven for me. Um... The answer apparently is, uh, this is a, uh, a mobile game that did exist in the past, a free-to-play game that had, like, microtransactions and other kinds of stuff in it. It used to exist, then it didn't, and now it's just being sold as a proper game, uh, with the microtransactions taken out, apparently. Um, there are still, there, this, this is on Steam as well, and there are reviews saying that, like, you can feel where the microtransactions used to be at times. Um, did I go down this route? I feel like... I don't think I did, but I'm just really curious where I'm going at. I saw there was a branching path just then as well. I feel like every time you go down, like, too far, you just kind of hit a... Hit a block like that. There you go. I'm like, how far down can I really go before this doesn't make sense? There's also the orange there, but... Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this other path that was there because I really need to get up because I haven't been above the start yet. Oh my gosh, really? Ah, oh. actual pain maze now. Uh, but yeah, no, it looks all right. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's only like, I think it's 10 US. It's, it's not a very expensive, um, game. So, uh, maybe it's actually worth it. I, I like my tower defenses, so, you know, any, anything's really worth it for me. I don't know. Uh, how very curious that, like, suddenly now this is where I can go up continuously. We could finally get out of this, like, bottom half of the, the maze. Uh, next up is Darkest Dungeon 2. This is already out on PC. It's been out for a while, and I remember it actually was, um... Was it an Epic Games-only game while in Early Access? What a curious, like, situation it was in. Um... Okay, so that's our finish. And we need to be up a floor. And there. Which means we need to be up another floor. Oh, I'm right here. Cool. We did it! Woo! There we go. This section is now 45% complete. 45. Look, you know I really like you, so what do you say? Let's take another hike through the maze. 
Okay, sure. Uh, so... At least we're near the bottom, so I can't get too lost here. Uh, blue goes down, green goes up. Let's go this way. Um... Yeah, it looks okay. There's not really a ton I can say about Darkest Dungeon 2 other than it's a roguelike that is fairly punishing. It sort of just, you know, screws you over when you sort of really don't want it to. Um, I haven't played it though, so I can't tell you specifics. I think I've seen some reviews say they hate some changes compared to the first game. Um... But, uh, I don't know, I think I'll let, you know, you be the judge of that, um, and just, just go off like any other, you know, person's opinion. Someone who's played the game, or the other game, uh, probably would know much more than I do there. Um. Okay, I'm making my way uptown. We're going back down again. And we're going back down. I think it's just like gonna dead end somewhere. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. Uh, where else goes up then? Because red hits a dead end and green, green goes up. Still going up, but we got another up on the purple as well. This goes purple, goes up. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, they announced a bunch of uh, Switch Online stuff. Uh, so first of all, big disclaimer, uh, obviously uh, you don't need to wait until games to come to Switch Online if you really, really want to play old games. Uh, for example, uh, Turok already has a, a, uh, a remaster from Night Dive. It is already there on on the Switch, actually, as the Night Dive port. But you can uh, play Turok's original Nintendo 64 version through the uh, Nintendo 64 Virtual Console. They actually teased as well that it's like, this will be a separate mature-only app, just so that, you know, I guess uh, the parental controls age gating can be sort of selectively filtered because uh, I don't think it works inside the app itself. But I'm like, yeah, that's fine, that's just a detail. Um, okay, I just need to go here. Oh, uh, almost. There we go, yeah. Easy money. This section is now 60% complete. Couldn't have done that any better all by my... I'll just force down. I'll never see what the exit's like. Yeah. Uh, they also announced as well Perfect Dark. That would also be in the mature Nintendo 64 games category. Um, Perfect Dark, I think, is a actual, like, gem of a game. I like it. Um, and interestingly, I think I commented that uh, uh, they showed off a Perfect Dark uh, reboot in the uh, Microsoft conference. Um, which didn't really look very much like Perfect Dark to me. It sort of did feel a bit more of just, it's a modern shooter, it's got stealth bits. Uh, it's like, yeah, you know, it's okay, but it doesn't exactly scream out to me as, a uh, something groundbreaking or amazing just yet. But maybe we'll get to it, maybe it'll, it'll be alright. But it's like, yeah, here's the original Perfect Dark, which I feel like should be something that Microsoft goes, oh, we own the rights to that, let's, you know, have some version available, just like, um, you know, most of Rare's catalog. And yet, I don't know, it's sort of squandered a little bit. They don't, they don't show off that they have, uh, under their belts one of the, you know, the best console shooters out there. It's remarkably good. I love the setting, I love the variety and the missions. It's certainly a bit primitive in places, like, uh, you've got some kind of lengthier missions that are kind of easy to fail accidentally, and it's like, oh. Um, I sort of lost track if I'm actually going the right way, but I think my gut feeling is I want to get onto, like, the right half here, because then there's a bunch of paths that go upwards. Worried I'm not just going down the exact same path again that I've been down there. I think I'm alright though, because now I've got a bunch of these like up paths. 
And this should get me out of here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so let's go into the next game. Uh, oh, oh uh, also two GBA games. We have Metroid Zero Mission, top shelf, great game, I love it. And uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Four Swords, which is a very curious uh, one as well because uh, this one heavily relies on link cable support. It's not like, oh, it's just split screen multiplayer and so we just run an emulator remotely. It's like, no, 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 you've got to properly emulate four systems that are communicating with each other over some link. Uh, a pun, maybe. Um, orange over oh, here. Heck yeah. Uh, so yeah, good this stuff there. Hopefully we get a. Complete. I was gonna say, what, what's another one? Don't they? I think they have another game that's like that. Um, Let's do it again. One one Kirby game. It's it's a similar idea where uh, you have one player pack, but then you you basically have to link it with other people. Um, I want to go down. I feel like just going down is probably the... Well, okay, we're not going down. We're going down, down, then we turn it around. Uh, next one in this list is Phantom Brave, The Lost Hero. I don't know if this is, like, a sequel? Because Phantom Brave was a PS2 JRPG, if I believe. Also another JRPG. Take a shot. We've done it. Um... I guess Darkest Dungeon isn't a Japanese RPG, so I guess that's okay, but still. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't tell you what really makes it stand out uh, compared to a previous entry in its franchise, but I can certainly tell you that it is a new game, and I think it's one that probably a bunch of people do like, so good on them for having a new one. Um, and by M, I mean uh, whoever owns the rights, because it's not Nintendo every time, but uh, it's on the Switch. Which is kind of just the JRPG handout of choice of these days, so very nice. Uh, next one is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. This is a seven game collection of various, I believe, uh, are they exclusively Marvel vs. Capcom? Maybe. Uh, I think this yellow pipe actually doesn't go anywhere, yeah. So we might as well go up. How do I go further down? If I want to go further down, I guess I go... Up here. That's what it would have been, man. Yeah, I go up and then, uh... That blue goes nowhere, the red keeps going up. What? Orange goes down, yellow goes to red, goes to blue, goes down as well. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, this Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom fighting collection, I think there's been some positive uh, opinions about uh, Capcom's recent uh, fighting game, you know, ports, these kinds of older ones. Um, certainly, I think Marvel vs. Capcom has been not often ported, probably due to licensing reasons. Uh, so having a big collection of them that they can release on lots of consoles is very, very nice. Good on them. Um, yeah, preservation's always great. Uh, they've also got a bunch of online features and things like, oh, you've got like practice modes where you can see hitboxes and training and stuff like that. And as well, um, you know, like uh, if you enjoy if you enjoy stuff, then you get some soundtracks and some, you know, in development art assets and stuff like that. So. It's cool. That seems like it's a, it'll be a fun collection of, of uh, titles. I'm not sure how much it costs. I should have looked that up. But uh, hopefully less than Dragon Quest IX. Nine? Three. Uh, Dragon Quest IX is way expensive. I don't think anyone can afford that these days. Uh, next one is uh, Super Mario Party Jamboree. Great name. Um, Super Mario Party Jamboree is uh, the... Next installment of Mario Party, where, uh, I'm just mentally trying to follow where this is going, because I need to go back up, just for a hot second. I need to either get to, I need to go to the up arrow that's in the middle there, which is connected to another up arrow, which is connected to another up arrow, 
which is this one. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, right at the end, I can probably spot it. Because once you can see the floors, once you can like wander around the floors, you're good. You can you can mentally like go from the end and then try to find your way through. I think we're almost there as well. I could probably drop this down to normal. Is now 90 complete. Yeah, I could drop down to normal and we'll good. be good. Now have yeah, so it shouldn't be as bad here, but uh, still a bit involved. But at least it's not impossibly hard on hard, it just takes just as long. Uh, but yeah, Mario, Super Mario Party Jamboree is, uh, as everyone describes it, a normal Mario Party. We finally did it. We've got a normal Mario Party. And this is one where it's like, I'm sort of torn because on the one hand, I think Nintendo hears criticism and then realizes that no one is happy. Everyone is very, very upset about like, you know, these long running franchises because it's just like, oh, I want like an old school Mario Party like right now and then when there were like all these old school Mario parties releasing every year I just wish it wasn't like the same release every single year and it's like ugh. I mean granted you know I I do agree that having some different features that could spice things up is always great uh I think people hated the direction of Mario Party 9 and where everyone is in a car and suddenly all that like randomness and struggles is just kind of gone the boards feel boring because of that um but it's also kind of like, I don't know, like... I think I get it. I, I, like, it's very circumstantial. Obviously, if there was a perfect game, and they released that perfect game every single year, you know, we wouldn't really be talking about that as much. But, uh, since it's not a perfect Mario Party every year, it's like, we do want to figure out which features we love and which ones we don't. ...and are ready to move on to one of the other brain sections. Continued play is at your discretion. Thank you, I guess. Look, you know I really like you, so what do you say? <laughs> See ya. Uh, but yeah, no, Super Mario Party Jamboree, they show off five uh, boards that are just normal boards. They still have a, a gameplay gimmick per board, um, but they're definitely like the normal Mario Party boards. They've got like incidental spaces and they've got uh, coins and you can buy stars. It's like, oh my success gosh. Success breeds success. Wow. Let's move into another area of the brain. Give me a creepy line, eh? I am such a scatterbrain. I really don't like that. Okay. To the next one, file sorting. Is this one I have to pay attention now in? entering file sorting. Oh boy. Uh, they also show off at the end uh, of the Mario Party Jamboree that there's uh, two boards. Mario's Rainbow Castle and Western Land from Mario Party 1 and 2. Uh, they also have a t uh, bunch of minigames. Some use motion controls. Very nice. I actually kind of like that. Because they're just fun and gimmicky and stupid. And that's kind of the whole point of these minigames. That's good fun. Uh, and there's an online mode. Another dimension. A dimension of memory and mind. Where all is not as it seems. Oh. Objects will be presented to you one at a time. Each object must be placed in a drawer. You may select okay. any open drawer in which to store the object. At various intervals, Rathbone will request an object be retrieved. You must then remember and select the drawer in which that object is stored. That signpost up ahead? You are now entering the file the sorting zone. Okay. Okay. File, the brick. The brick. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure this is pretty straightforward. Where you just put objects in. The light bulb. You could ch pick any drawer, but I think it's just mentally you want to try and, you know, categorize them if you can. The Dinwiddie. So we got a brick, a light bulb, and a Dinwiddie, I guess. Find the brick. Well, the brick's over here. That's explanatory. Find the light bulb. And the light bulb's here. That's explanatory. Find the Dinwiddie. And the Dinwiddie's here. Easy. If you were a little bit smarter, it would be scary. This section is now 5% complete. I think I'm becoming obsessive. I really want to play again. Okay, sure. Uh, so let's let's move into normal difficulty now. 
Sometimes drawers will randomly trade places. This puzzle is now worth 10%. So now, now we're into the next level of stuff. File, the light bulb. All right, I'll put light bulb in yellow, because it's yellow. Select a drawer for the dinwiddie. I'll put the dinwiddie in green, because he's not green. Let's switch the drawers. Okay. At least you know what color they were. The flight of fancy. Flight of fancy, okay. Retrieve the light bulb. The light bulb will be here, right? Yeah. Let's mix things up a bit. Now that's just kind of mean. File the sandwich. A sandwich. Retrieve the din witty. Uh, the din witty would be here. It's traded twice. Let's mix things up a bit. File the phobioid. The phobioid? Okay. Retrieve the flight of fancy. Uh, the flight of fancy was in the, uh,. Oh, is it in the yellow? I think it was in the yellow. No! That was the sandwich. No, the sandwich. Uh, the flight of fancy was in this drawer. I'm an idiot, because I... Oh, I do need to pay attention. Oh, no. Things are not always what they seem to be in file sorting. Let's go back and play again. Okay, sure. Select a All right, light bulb, yellow. I, I memorize that. Select springy in here. He didn't jump my difficulty down, did he? Let's switch. There is the switch. Drawer. Okay, we got it. We're switching. File the flight of and flight of fancy goes in here. We've got the dim wind in, in this green. Retrieve. I mean, it is the same puzzle, at least. Let's mix things up. Like it's like oh, if you kind of know where you're going at. File, the sand. So the sandwich goes in here. Fly the fancies in here. The dimwits over here. Bind. So we get the dimwit. Let's switch the drawers. Now the sandwich is still in the yellow. Now he's gonna do this freaking Select thing. A drawer for the phobioid. Bind. The. F what is a flight of fancy? I don't even know, man. Retrieve. The sandwich. And the phobioid. Easy money. To succeed in this task, you have made commendable use of the four qualities needed for efficient brain function. Mental strength, flexibility, endurance, and coordination. Oh. <laughs> this section is now 15% complete. <laughs> a bit of a pause. Complete. I think I'm Let's do normal again. Obsessive. I really want to play. Uh, so the next one they showed off was a uh, Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. Basically, what if uh, Zelda was a girl? Is the uh, the Bio, meme? The procrastinator. The procrastinator. Well, time goes in yellow, of course. File the weevil. Well, he's blue. He goes in blue. Oh, love that sound effect. Let's mix things up a bit. Select a drawer for the... Also blue, I guess. Retrieve. We can free him from his prison. Let's switch the drawers. Should be no sweat. File the equation. <laughs> Just casually. Bind the procrastinate. Uh, but yeah, no, Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, Link gets captured at the very, very beginning of the game, uh, after, the heart. after a, uh, fight with, a with, a Ganon, and, uh, oh, okay, and, uh, you as Zelda, uh, retrieve, you know, escape, and, uh, now it is your goal to rescue Link, which is, retrieve the crustacean. Okay. Which is good fun. I, I like the, you know, the switcher of the, the, the concept. The anxiety bomb. The anxiety bomb? Oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> oh no! <sighs> Vintage. Switch the Vintage. Select a drawer 
for the... We're going kind of long-term on these things, aren't we? Retrieve the anxiety bomb. Uh, well, I put the anxiety bomb up here. Nope. That was the heart. I'm really <laughs> crying on the inside. The anxiety bomb. I put it in blue, in didn't I? Drawer. It was in the blue drawer. Ah, oh, I'm just like. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> this is the worst game to try and commentate Things and read Nintendo Direct stuff off, isn't it? In file sorting. Because now we're gonna Let's get the same go back. thing. Stop it! We're just gone, gone red. Drawers will randomly trade places. This puzzle is now worth 15%. File, the Dinwiddie. All right, Dinwiddie goes in green. <laughs> Dinwiddie in green. Got him there. File, the Flight of Fancy. Uh, yeah. I think the tricky part comes from like, you might have more than four Let's things. Let's mix things up a bit. File, the. <laughs> Let's switch the drawers. Retrieve the flight of fancy. I put the flight of fancy in green. Dimwit was. Oh my gosh, no. That was the no. Oh, my brain. <sighs> the flight of fancy. I literally just forgot, like, which drawer. one the colors were when it's obviously like blue, pink, yellow, green. It's not like there's a, there's a clear number of things there. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back and play again. Okay, okay, okay. Select a drawer. Alright, he goes in green. <laughs> so Let's mix things up a bit. File. File the sandwich. Is this really Let's for kids? The drawers. Bind. The flight of okay, so flight of fancies over here. Let's switch the drawers. And then I guess these just go back to what they were. Okay. File, the phobioid. Okay. Uh, Dimwit's over here. Phobioid's here just because he's green. Let's mix things up a bit. I'm just mentally noting. Okay, Dimwit's here. Phobioid's here. Select a drawer for the procrastinator. Dimwit's here. Phobioid's here. Let's mix things He's up. He's mixing bit. them up. He's mixing them up. Okay, then we're still here. Select a drawer for the. Yeah, see, we've got five things chilling here. Let's switch the drawers. Find the procrastinator. Uh, did I put the procrastinator? I put it in the pink because the sandwich is still in the yellow. Yeah. Let's switch the drawers. Okay. Probioids here. A drawer for the crest. Gosh, I forgot what's in this one. That was blue. Let's mix things up a bit. Okay, then what's here? Oh my Select gosh. A drawer for the chill, bro. Chill. I can't keep track of this many things, can I? Let's switch the drawers. Oh my gosh. Select a drawer for the heart. Too much. Too many things. I'm tracking too many things. Let's mix things up a bit. Find the equation. Okay, equations up here. Let's mix things up a bit. Okay, that's just fun. File the anxiety bomb. Anxiety bomb goes in blue again, I guess. Uh, oh no! Let's switch the drawers. Oh boy, okay, anxiety bomb. Retrieve. Crustaceans here. No, the weevil. Stuff it, stuff it. We're going back to easy, cause I'm a, I'm a dummy. Ah. <laughs> Select a. That's just so much. To remember, oh my gosh. Like I, 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 I just like sat down. I tried to shut up over that. Nah, man. As a kid, I could do easy. No sweat on all of this. For the. But when it's just like... Select a drawer. Uh, when it's just like, every, you know, you got eight things, I keep juggling around. File, 
the weaver. I say that knowing full well that I'm on the easy and I've got five things here. But at least it's also just like, you're just putting them in places. Retrieve. Like, they're not switching, switching around here. Bind. Bind. And they also seem to be drawing in the exact same order, so... Retrieve. Oh, except for the last one, because I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, I'll never be able to beat this. The Weevil was in this drawer. I know, it was the only drawer left, man. Just don't, don't flex on me, please. Things are not always what they seem to be in file sorting. I don't think Let's anything's what it seems to be. Uh, anyway, so looks cool. Uh, I like this idea of uh, basically constructing objects and uh, using them to solve puzzles. I think every Zelda game from A Link Between Worlds really kind of nailed this um, this idea of uh, constantly, like, you know, giving yourself that minimal set of tools and then having lots of different applications that don't seem necessarily obvious what the applications are. Or like, you know, that, oh, it's this item that you can use here. But you just kind of make it work with the tools available. Select a... Retrieve. Bind. Uh, but yeah. So, next up in the list Retrieve. is Just Dance 2025. Uh, this has, uh, hit new songs like, uh... Lady Gaga, uh, Poker Face, brand new song. Bind. If I hadn't watched you do that, I wouldn't have believed it. This section is now 20%. I'm so curious if maybe I can do this a bit quicker on normal though, at the very least. Like, I know it does this, but... Sometimes draw. I should be able to curb it. The procrastinator. Okay, the procrastinator. It's yellow, so it goes in yellow. File. The weevil. The weevil goes in the blue, because he's blue. Let's mix things up a bit. Select a drawer. Okay, the crustacean goes in blue, because he's blue. We got a crustacean, we got a weevil. Bind. Okay, we just got a crustacean now. Let's switch the drawers. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Select a the equation goes in pink because it's pink. That's what color equations are. Find the procrastin. Procrastinators here. Let's switch the drawers. And then we've got the crustacean and the equation. Select a drawer for the. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go gutsy. We're gonna put the heart in here. <laughs> the equations in there. The heart. Bind. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Bind. I think we're on the way out. I think we're good. Select a drawer for. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Let's mix things up. Everyone's a bit. favorite sound effect. That's the hot, and that's the anxiety Bile. bomb. The brick. Brick goes in here, I guess. Bind. Anxiety bombs in here. Retrieve. The brick the is this one. I just put it in here. And now we're good. All right, now we're, we're we're making it. Congratulations! You must have employed a number of neurotropic factors in laying down the memory traces. This section okay. is now thirty percent complete. We're only at thirty, man. Oh my gosh. Select. Okay, we'll get there. Um, next one is uh, Lego Horizon Adventures. Select this one they announced. For the uh, PlayStation announced ages or, or a bit ago. But um, what a weird crossover. Uh, it's also up. coming out on uh, Steam and other platforms, but it's like it's also on the Switch. Select a drawer. It's also on the Switch? Yeah, very curious, but, uh, Let's switch it looks alright. I got a very Sackboy Adventure kind of vibe Select out of it. A drawer. I think I got the Dimwit in that one. Find the yeah, the Dimwit's over here. Let's mix things up a bit. Oh gosh, I forgot which one's the first yellow Find I put. 
the sandwich. The sandwich I've got in the, in the pink here. Retrieve the phobioid. I think the phobio was this one. No, it's the light bulb. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. The phobioid oh. was in this drawer. Oh, I put him in the green as well because I'm also really dumb. Things are not always what they seem to be. This is really annoying. Files. <laughs> Next one is a uh, stray. We know stray. Stray is a game that sort of got really overhyped, uh, and I think it's just because 2023 really didn't have that many amazing games, especially at that time. Select a drawer. Let's switch the drawer. But uh, I mean, I think it's okay. But the flight. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't expect it to be like a adventure game, basically. Select a drawer. Let's that's light bulb. The that's the flight of fancy. That's the light bulb now. That's the the springy. Retrieve. Yeah, 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 springy's in here. Let's mix things. I'm just gonna be consistent in like which colors I put everything in. Find. The sand. sandwich always goes in here. That makes sense. Retrieve the phobia. The phobioids in here because he's green. Let's switch the drawer. Now it's the light bulb over here. Select a drawer for the procrastinator. Oh, see, this is fun. I always keep putting this one in a different one. I'm putting him in blue for now. Retrieve and the flight of fancies over here. Find the uh, just put that away. Okay, okay, we're okay. Oh no, we've got to put more stuff away. Weevil. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Find. It's <laughs> like the first item, bro. Reach. You solved this puzzle masterfully. Thank this you. section is not uh, 40 So the next one is uh, Tales of the Shire, a I Lord of the Rings obsessive. game. This is a uh, I really want to play again. A nice little life sim kind of game. You decorate houses, cook food in the Hobbit lands of the Shire of New Zealand. It looks okay. It looks kind of cute. I like it. Um, not sure what's going on with it. Does it count as a farming game? Maybe. I'll count. It. Uh, next one, Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. If you Let's remember the Ace the Attorney Collection, down. as well as also they did one for the, uh, the so great Ace Attorney Chronicles, I believe. Um, well, this is another one, uh, for the two DS games where you play as Edgeworth. Um, but interestingly, uh, anxiety bomb. this is gonna be fun. <gasps> oh no! Let's mix things up. Alright, so we got the hard in here. Harden here, anxiety bomb, crustacean, a drawer for the uh, brick. Oh, equation, what is it? Yeah, I didn't know it was a heart. The equation's over here. And I've got the brick. I'm just doubling up on colors all the time. Find crustaceans the here. Let's switch the drawers. So I think this is the equation Retrieve now. The, the anxiety end. bomb's here. Nice. That was the heart. <laughs> Don't mix your the colors up like this. Was in this drawer. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Did I really hit red as well? And I knew the anxiety bomb was in the blue. They seem to be in file sorting. I'm silly. I'm really silly. Play again. Select. A All right. Drawer. Crustacean. He's blue. He goes in blue. Select equation. It's pink. It goes in pink. Okay, <laughs> just let's mix uh, things up a bit. It's so hard to like follow this and then do the commentary. I swear. The heart. Who did this? Who who chose this one? <laughs> Select a drawer for. <gasps> oh so no. The hearts. The hearts in the right one. Let's Equations in the left the one. Select a drawer. Equations up there, the hearts there. Anxiety bombs right. Find the crust. That's the crust station. Let's mix things up a bit. That's Find the heart. The up the top. 
select a draw. I don't know, man. I think I've lost it again. Let's switch. Is that the heart of the equation at the top? File. The. <laughs> Find. The equation. I think it's the heart at the top. Yeah. Let's mix things up a bit. Hearts there. File. The flight of fancy. Oh my gosh. Uh find the heart. The heart was Oh gosh, was it this one or that one? It was this one. That no, it's was the brick! The brick. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. The heart was in this drawer. Stop it. Stop it. I feel so defeated right now. I'm actually you like, must remember. mentally raging. Because it's just like, oh, my brain is really, like, terrible right now at, like, tracking this kinds of stuff. File. I don't know, I'll just come back to this later. Because at least your progress is saved. You don't have to do it all in one go. File. <laughs> Maybe as a Select kid I used to be actually really good at this, and now I'm just like, oh, no. I don't know. Select a drawer. We're in the same setup where I've got the the equation, the heart, Retreat. the brick. I just did the brick. Bind the ink. Bind. Bind. I mean, I guess I can do the easies. I guess I can do the easies. Uh, I'm only as good as what baby me was able to pull off. Man, it takes its time though, doesn't it? This whole thing takes its time, doesn't it? Uh... Select a drawer for the... So, uh, the big thing with the Ace Attorney Investigations collection is that the second game was never actually Select localized outside of Japan. It was, uh, only ever in Japanese, and fan translations have tried to resolve that. File. The but, uh, hey, here's a formal release. And this means every Ace Attorney game is now on the Switch. Except for the Professor Layden one. The one day. One day, maybe they'll port that one. Mind. Find the phobia. Find the f Find. I hate how involved these are. I feel like unpacking the stuff. It's like, ugh. Fresh. This section is now fifty percent complete. Fifty. I think. Oh. Just mentally exhausted, I tell you. Select a drawer. Oh, so we'll just double time it. Just, just speed it up now. Speed it up. File. Select a drawer. File. The. It's always equation first. It's always equation first. Uh. Select a drawer. What? Oh no! Find the equation. Retrieve. The okay, we're good. We're good. Find. Yeah, I think we're set. So, next one is called the hundred Find line. The crustacean. Uh. The the hundred line last defense academy. I'm very certain it shares either a uh, a main creator or a character designer with, strongly about with the uh, task, the Danganronpa games. It's a strategy RPG, another JRPG, nice. Um, where you defend the school for a hundred days. The hundred line. That's what it's called. Um, JRPG. I can't really tell you too much about the story because it just kind of happens briefly. Um, Select a drawer. 
But yeah, no, it looks okay. Uh, next one, Romancing Saga 2. This is a very, very, um... JRP, okay, it's another JRPG. Saga's a, an ongoing franchise, I know that. Um, I like how the, the, it's, it's, uh, what's it? What's it? Um, timeline-based, turn-based? Where it's not necessarily, uh, like, you know, your turn and then your turn, but rather it's like, depending on what actions you do or how fast you are, um, that determines where your action takes place in a timeline. Um, so that's all right. That's cool. Maybe another game in the franchise has done that. I know Saga is uh, not at all the first uh, to to kind of do that, but uh, yeah, it's all right. Uh, finally, the big one that Nintendo has been waiting on for so long to finally be able to reveal is Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Now, as a person who Metroid Prime is their favorite game of all time, uh, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond looks just like a Metroid game. Some people are absolutely hyping this, and I am uh, worriedly skeptic, but it might still be alright. I don't know, we'll see. Um... The procrastinator. I've chucked the procrastinator in blue so many times. I'm gonna chuck it in blue. I don't know. I'm just remembering it there. Select a drawer. Uh, so the trailer starts. Samus gets out of her gunship. It goes first person. She walks around. Stuff happens. Uh, she shoots some space pirates. I think the space pirate. Maybe they're not space pirates. Sorry. Um, she uh, rolls into a morph ball, charges a beam, uses a missile. File. Uh, and then uh, scans a thing. Uh, Silox appears, who's a character from Metroid Prime Hunters, you know, from 18 years ago. Mind the heart. Uh, and also was teased at the very, very end of Metroid Prime 3. Retrieve. Oh gosh, which one was the crustacean? Was it the first one? No, it was the second one. Dang it! Was the weevil. The crustacean was in this. I thought drawer. it was an anxiety bomb first. Oh! Yeah, okay. Things are not always what they seem to be in file sorting. But, uh, yeah, Let's no, go. I mean, the trailer shows Play off again. that it's Metroid Prime. I can't really say. Too much more than that, uh, and I guess that's kind of like a, a lingering problem with many trailers. I've seen too many games. Oh yeah, I've got the, the clock there, yeah, that's what it is. Um, I've seen too many games, just in general. So obviously it's like, this game reminds me of this game, it looks like this one, and so on. And we just keep getting into this like rabbit hole of like, how much do the games look like? Obviously that when a game comes out, it will be, you know, much more right obviously you you won't worry too much about a game feeling too much like another one once you're playing it i think you'll really feel the differences um Bind. and also it's very hard for games to be 100 percent original when it's like you know we've got decades of solid game design that has worked find the crust crustacean find the procrastinate Retrieve. Yep, I'm almost there. I got it. I got it. I can at least remember this. I can remember the baby You're stuff. Right, this section is now 65% complete. Oh, I still gotta do this I seven more times. Oh my gosh, bro. You sure I can't just like attempt normal again after this? The anxiety. <gasps> oh no! Alright, anxiety bombs in there. Um. Ultimately, though, Nintendo did show a lot of stuff, and a lot of things that I think are like kind of alright and interesting. Um, JRPGs in particular, I think people who like their RPGs will especially love a lot of stuff showed off here. Um, but also, I think there's a bit for just these longer holdout titles that people were a bit, you know, concerned that the Switch wouldn't, you know, have too much at the end of its lifespan. We all we already know that there is a Switch 2, they've already... Uh, said there's something happening, or at least a successor to it. Um, File. My gut feeling is, uh, this is seven items we've bundled as well. Find the. Um, we already know that there's a Switch 2 come along, and Find my, uh... The sandwich. My sense of... Wait, what was the first thing? I think the sandwich was the second red one. Yeah. Find the Dinwiddie. 
The Jin Lee was the first one, yeah. Bind? It was a brick. I think Fly Defense was the right one, yeah. Retrieve. Bind? Man, they're really cruel. They are so Bind. cruel on this one. This might be the You're most cruel one. Great. This section is now 70%. Okay, okay, let's give normal another run for its money. Sometimes. Sometimes I dream about cheese. Because now I've got more practice. I might be okay at this now. Select Who's the person who plays for points, you know? Like, you, like if you beat the whole game on expert, expert or hard, it'll be alright, so. File. So we got equation, crustacean, <laughs> and heart. File the anxiety. Okay, anxiety. Okay, oh equation, no. anxiety bomb, crustacean, heart. Let's mix things up a bit. Anxiety bomb. File equation. The brick. Crustacean, heart, brick. Find the crustacean. Let's switch the drawers. Alright, okay, brick equation Bind heart. The ink. Select a drawer. Light bulb's yellow, it always is. Let's mix things brick. up a bit. Heart Bile. equation. The brick heart equation. Brick heart equation. Retrieve. I'm smart, I'm remembering. I hot brick. File the flight of fancy. Hot light bulb brick fancy. Retrieve. Hot's in this one. I got it. There we go. Let's mix I'm remembering it. A bit. Light bulb's still there. Select a drawer for this. Right, sandwich. Hot. Retrieve. Okay, I think we're good. I think I got this. Let's switch the drawers. Hearts all the way up here. Bind the sandwich is back here. I'm nailing Bind it. The brick. Retrieve. There we go. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Bind. Good for you. Your NMDA for you. receptors Jeez. were firing all kinds. This okay, section is now 80% okay. complete. I think I'm becoming obsessive. Uh-oh. You shouldn't become obsessive, oh my gosh. Select a drawer for the phobioid. Alright, phobioid in the green. Phobioid in the green, we got this. Select a drawer. Okay. Let's switch the drawers. Hey, come on. Phobioid procrastinator. Retrieve the pro. Bind. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool. Select a drawer. Let's mix things up a bit. Yep, okay, it's just the phobroid and the crustacean and the equation. They gotta pick long words just to get you tossed up, rotated around. Okay, equation high, equation high, every time. Let's mix things up a bit. Okay, equations here, crustacean. The phobia. I'm getting the phobroid. phobroid. Yeah, I can talk. Bind. Okay, equation hot, equation hot. Retrieve. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm doing okay. You're in the house, baby. This section is now 90% Okay, one more. One more and then we're out of here. I don't have to memorize stuff ever, ever again. File the anxiety... Bomb. Okay. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Select a, a brick. Nice. Let's switch 
the drawers. All right, brick, anxiety bomb. File. Uh, light bulb. Select a drawer for the... Brick, anxiety, <laughs> light bulb, dimwit. Let's mix things up a bit. Oh, boy. Light, dimwit. Bomb. Sorry. The light bulb. The light bulb's in here. Retrieve. I the forgot what was in our red one here. Let's switch the drawers. The dimwits move over here. Select a drawer. Fly to fancy. File. The. Oh, it's not the sandwich. At least I know that the sandwich is now in our Let's second drawer. Let's mix things up a bit. Sandwich is over here. Find. It was a brick. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Select a drawer. Let's switch the drawers. Find. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're golden. No, more stuff. The pro. Let's switch the drawers. Switching the drawers. Okay. Find. The phobioid. We got one of each color though. We're not we're not mixing them up too bad. Too bad. Bind. The we're good. We're good. We're good. I think we're good. Retrieve. Just absolute fear. I'm dreading like getting one of these wrong again. And it's like, ugh. Great job. Doctor Brain has his memory skills returned by your excellent puzzle play. You have finished a sufficient number of file sorting puzzles to move on. I don't on think I've the got my memory, I swear. Continued play is at your discretion. I think I'm becoming obsessed. Okay, leave. We're done. We're done here. Uh, so let's do one last puzzle for the night. Because uh, there's, there's ten in the game, so this will be a perfect, like, two streamer, basically. Uh, but, oh boy. Oh boy, I feel so dumb. I, I, I was, like, able to... To discuss so much the um, I want 3D construction. I can do this, right? I've got a, br a brain, if, as if as if all this is any different. Now entering 3D construction. As, as as if it's like, oh, these other puzzles are not using my brain. It's just this one. Um, but yeah, moral of the story with the Nintendo one. Uh, I still think that there's a lot of cool stuff to see. It's definitely nice and compact and condensed, and I don't think there was really. Any weird ones other than maybe just dance where you'd be like, oh, okay. Look like... at me, I'm Swedish. Oh. Yumpin Yemeni. It sure is good to have you on the crew. Now it's time to build a whole bunch of stuff. This is you will be presented This is a object. biblically accurate Swedish accent, by the way. From other sides. Using the construction Listen, grids, I don't know what's worse, his accent or his feet. Oh, what is you that? Believe your object is exactly the same as the original. Submit it to Rathbone for verification. Make sure that the object is in the identical orientation. Just a roll this one your seems very straightforward to pull off, though, doesn't it? So here it is on easy. Uh, we've got you know, you've got that. Uh, where's our starting line? Do we know where the starting line is? Because we've got this going on. I mean, I can easily just go like, you know, uh, we can see the top design is uh, that. And the bottom, I'm trying to see if there's one in the middle. I don't, I think, th I don't think there is, no. And then visually you can kind of spot whether it's the same, but I think that's all right. Ah, my ears, ah. The hardware of your brain has now become capable of generating new and more complex thoughts. This Th section it? is now 5% complete. Let's say you and me just build a- So let's do it on normal then. You now have more levels, pieces, and complex objects to contend with. This puzzle is now worth 10%. I still don't think it's like too bad though. Um, cause it's like... You know, like, visually, I, I see this. Is that, is that right? Uh... Yeah, it's like, it's like that. Um, hold on, you see, you see what I mean? That, that looks about right. Uh, let's try and get the bottom. This looks like it's on the right most. It 
kind of feels like that because uh, also I'm using this like right arrow as a bit of a guidance, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of lines up. And if we rotate, well, it looks about right. Okay, so now I've got these like weird blocks in the middle. Um, that looks like it's probably the starting spot, and I can see this going on at the very least. Now we're obviously missing that. That seems about right. I don't think I can see any more pink blocks. Oh, no. I really can't see any more. I think that's it. Ah. <laughs> Do you feel that your external vision is becoming keener as you exercise your inner eyes? This section is now 15% complete. Okay. Let's see if we can get to this one just right. And now let's look at hard. You now have more levels, pieces, and complex objects to contend with. This puzzle and is now And now you cannot tell what color anything is. It's just a, it's just a, a mess, if you will. Let's, uh, let's start off with, uh, probably spot this corner. Uh, well, I, I mean, if we start with just the wall. I think I see this going on here. That seems to be our far side. Uh, I think as well... That? I, th I think that looks good. Right? Yeah. Uh, I can also see up the back there's at least... I think that actually is four. Yeah, that's four there. And uh, maybe... Kind of looks like... Oh, uh, no, it's a bit too far. Kind of looks like that. On the top, doesn't it? I'm really trying to gauge what's going on here. I can't tell what's happening on the rest, so let's rotate around. Uh, so now I'm looking at the back side. We've got our column there. So in theory, I guess we've got... These two. I'm not sure how I can really describe my thought process when it comes to, like, doing shapes. But I'd probably chalk it up to just, like, video games have given me, like, decent, like, maybe decent spatial awareness. Like, hold on, I'm missing one here. And I had one here that actually shouldn't be there. That makes sense now. This looks, like, almost accurate, but there's stuff behind that I just can't see yet. So let's look around here. Alright. Uh, the top one, uh, which side are we dealing with? Gosh, yeah, like, hold on, so the, there's a bit that sticks out here, I think this is actually, like, is that, like, just here? Like, the space under? Or is it, like, slightly further back? Oh, it can't be further back, because it'd be under that, so, yeah, I think it's that. And then we've got, like, the two floors underneath and that going on. And then the stuff behind it, and I'm just like, I'm really unsure how one dissects what's happening anywhere, anything on the inside here. How do you know? How do you know what's happening here? I visually can't see it, I'll tell them. It's just like you're not all there yet. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh... I don't really think this is good fun on this difficulty, I swear. That's not it, nah. You just don't quite have it. Okay, so I swear, this is visually identical right now. Or is it? That's it. That's the only difference I can spot. That's the only thing I can sp Oh, okay, so now we're back down here. I said I got rid of that one, but then it's like... Hold on. So I got rid of that. 
but I don't see it here, right? I see like a bit jutting out here. Ah, oh, like I'm looking at it going, how do I, how does one convert that into a thing? Into like what, what I'm feeling. It's like a square kind of in front. I don't know, man. I don't know. Heart is too much for me, man. At least with this, it's like, I, I get this one, okay? It's just like, whoop, 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 uh, whoop, 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 Like, I'll nail this, this pattern. No sweat. Did I just nail it? Oh, no, not quite. Uh, what am I not nailing? I'm not nailing the bottom here. Uh... Yeah, hold on, yeah. I should come out of here instead. Nope. We're not there yet? You just don't quite oh, have yeah. It. Everything's like a bit too far forward. See what I mean, like that. No. It's just like you're not all there yet. There's this piece such that that makes sense. How it's sticking out there. Oh wait, maybe all of this needs to be like back here instead. Yeah. That's just cheeky, dumb orthographic perspective, you know what I mean? I'm very certain that top is exactly as it should be. Pink looks okay, the pink level looks alright. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, I'm missing like one piece down here. Guess that one. Is that it? There we go, okay, we're fine. Escher may making have progress. used similar processes to the mental gymnastics you have just performed. I perform this mental section gymnastics is now every day. Complete. Let's see if we can get to this one just the right. Okay, sure. Uh, so I see like a ring here. Maybe not like that, it's more like... This is my ring. And there's a piece like there. I think that looks alright. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Um, now let's get the, the pink one. It's directly under... Uh... Is it actually... All four? No. It's missing that one. Then we should be good, right? Yeah. Yeah, seems alright. Bottom layer. Can't see what's going on there. There's definitely one next to it. Yo, look at that, I can power through these. I know what's going on. And you We're good. The cherry tree. So yeah, so <laughs> hopefully a future uh, video I can talk about that Microsoft Direct, Microsoft presentation. Um, but at the very least, my big take home right now is that I'm like, you know what? There's actually like things to look forward to. I'm glad that like hardware looks kind of interesting coming forward. Not only just for consoles, but just everything in general. I think it's got lots of neat stuff happening in that space. Um, nice. You have uh, just entered a new dimension yeah, of thought. Yeah, I'm definitely looking this forward to stuff. Uh, that being said, complete. of course, again, don't feel like you're upsold right, into, so you, you know, me, buying anything that you don't those. really want to, like, right away. I'll always go, like, hi, yes, I will read reviews and uh, gauge based on, you know, my own communities whether something is uh, worthwhile to play or not. I think certainly, uh, you know, everyone should exercise that when it comes to... Um, 
to, you know, what games they want to play and things like that. Yeah. Nothing much more to say. It's a Nintendo Direct. I'm not really too sure, like, what even my take home is. Maybe I should have, like, some big Scott the Woz style point of a. Um. What on earth am I doing with the paints here as well? That's not at all the angle. It should be, like. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Seems alright. I might be missing one at the back. Like that. That's what I was thinking. Seems right. Seems right. And now it's like this one singular red. It's not that one. It's that one. There we go. Your skills and visualization are becoming sharper with each success. The one, the this one I'm actually okay at. The one complete. I can actually do. Let's see if we can. I swear, this is like a classic. Like, if you ever play like any video game in 3D, and it's like there are some people, and it's just it never clicks. And I think it's just because you need to really like hardwire your brain in terms of like three-dimensional space like this in order to really make those 3D games kind of work. Um, I've practiced way too much, like, not specifically at this, like, minigame, but more just, like, in general, I think in terms of, like, 3D space a lot. So then it's like, oh, you know, it makes sense to me when character jumps. And it's like, where where are they in space? But sometimes it's still, like, a bit of a gutsy, you know, kind of guess. You still don't fully know. Uh, top's, yeah, top's good. I have no idea what's going on with the pink right here doesn't really look right like it looks right here somewhat but then like back here I'm like okay there's three here and I'm not there like that's not there this is like here yeah it's like there And there's a piece there, just for funsies. So if I go back to that, oh my gosh. It still looks like that though. Maybe there's... Maybe there's just a lot of pieces and it's just hard to see. That might be it actually. Yeah, okay. And now let's get the, the reds out. So I can't tell what's going on there. Oh, is it, is it just that? Nice. Okay, cool. You just done a real good. This section is now 65% 65 complete. 65, we're almost there, baby. Let's say you and me just build a nut. Alright, we got the whole wall there. You can... The top is easy enough to visualize. That seems alright. Um, once it gets to, like, the bottom, though, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Hold on, so we've got a pink, like, here. Actually, hold on, wait, that's that's a bit longer, that's this. Yeah! Okay, and now we've got a pink that's, like, exactly there, yes. One across, like, three back. That's what I can see. Oh, well, that makes it easy, it's just this. Cool. And then we've got a red directly underneath there. And... Well, not there, actually. There, and... There? Nope. Not quite. Oh. There we go. We're good. The hardware of your brain has now become. There's all this music, but it's like there's nothing in the puzzles. It's just dead silence until a terrible accent complete. comes at you. Let's see if we can get to this one. Yes. Alright, I see the top. The top looks pretty clean. Makes sense. You've got a thing underneath. Does it kind of look like this shape going on here? Kinda does. And then, uh... Uh, some, 
something like that? Maybe? Okay, let's we'll throw that around. Let's see. I was like, was that it? Was that... Asher may have used similar processes to the mental gymnastics you have Thank just you, performed. Thank you, this Asher. This section is now 85% complete. Asher was the one that had that pop song. Let's oh my god. Me, yes. That's that's terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh I think we're good if I do a cross here and then like directly underneath like that. And then you can see the red has like a whole row going on. And there's a little bit of diagonal stack here, and that's all I can see there. I'm just gonna hit submit. Okay, I was like, is that it? That, that was it? Nah, because there's obviously a pink back here. And you can see two reds back here like that. I think we got it though. Ow. Yeah, you built a real beauty there, didn't you? This section is now 95% complete. Might as well do another normal one just for Let's the points. Let's see if we can get to this. I think we're good though, otherwise. I feel good. I can finally nail this puzzle. I'll just do this forever. Restore his brain back just by like doing IKEA furniture. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I don't need no stinking camera angles. I do. Just for that. That's it. That's the only one I was missing. <laughs> you have finished the construction section and are ready to move on to one of the other brain sections. Continue The one I can discussion. actually do well. The one I can Let's do well. You and me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, I'll leave it there. That's five of these uh, mini games done. Five to go. So we'll leave it all for next week. Uh, which will be July. Oh my gosh. It's the end of uh, everything. So yeah um... If puzzle solving was a musical note you would be a symphony Let's move into another area of just the one musical note, I guess. There we go. So anyway, with that, I would like to thank you all so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this or you didn't enjoy it or whatever, uh, yeah, feel free to just subscribe on Twitch where I play a game every week, 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and uh, follow on YouTube or subscribe on YouTube and you'll see the VODs and that's it. Uh, if you're on YouTube, do the other or not. I don't know after you. Uh, you can follow me at m.bndo.com as well on uh, the Fediverse if you want to see some weird ramblings from time to time. Uh, like, uh, I think there was a channel with someone about like Luna Lake and how uh, they're upset about uh, not being able to upgrade RAM in their laptops. And I'm like, yeah, it's not going to get any better, is it? So, nah, it's all good. Um, also, yeah, since it's the end of the financial year, just a, another heads up. Uh, I guess if there's anything, now's your time. Do it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'll bid you adieu. Farewell, farewell. Peace be with you. And, uh... Eat your greens, don't stay up too late. I usually say that. Don't put your brain in a rat. I don't know what this guy was doing. Was he trying to do some rat gaming hours? Who knows. I right, peace.